Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This might be my last vid of the year. So thanks for the support over the last 12 months. Merry Christmas to you all or happy holidays or however you celebrate it if you do at all. Today's video I've been on eBay again and I've got myself another little bargain with a few problems. It is actually, <clears throat> I'll show you the hang tag in a minute, it came on, it's brand new. Super dry. It's a super dry watch. That should have been 89 euros. I put in a stupid bid of 16 pounds 50 pence and I won it. As you can see it comes with two straps. They're NATO-esque or Zulu-esque depending on how you want to call them. I've not quite figured out how to put these on yet because they've got a tag there on the underside with the branding on it. Now I'm assuming that is supposed to be outside near the top, but I've not yet managed to work out how to put them on properly. But that's not the only problem I've got. Uh, when I bought the watch, which I'll show you in a minute, I thought it was working and it's not. It arrived dead on arrival. So, oh well, that's a nuisance, but new battery and away we'll go. So this is the first strap that came with it. It's just an orange strap. Zulu-esque if you will, NATO-esque, it's not really, doesn't really fit into any of those brackets really the way it's designed with that tag on there. I'm sure that's got to be on the front somewhere, but I've not worked that out as I say. Alright, nice little orangey one, it's a nice little strap, quite good quality, nylon one. And the blue one, all brand new. As you can see, it's a nice, they're nice little straps, they, they seem to be quite comfortable. They're not, you know, rough or uncomfortable feeling. They feel quite nice. I've got a little blimmer. I just noticed that. Oh, well. I'll burn that off later on. <laughs> there we come to the, um, question marks, star of the show. Uh, I'll peel that off for a minute. I've not had this off yet. There we go. That's a super, super dry field watch. It's the professional version. Don't ask me why it's a professional one, I don't know. The reason I bought this one, I like the dial of it. I really like that blue face. I thought that looked really nice. Um, under closer inspection, it's got no loom on it at all. I was hoping that blue might have loomed, but it doesn't, not at all. Uh, good things to say about it. As you can see, the second hand hits the pointers it does it hits the indices look at that that's quite impressive isn't it okay it's a little bit off but the majority of the time it hits them almost spot on which i like i do like that a lot now when i took the back off this watch i had a hell of a job getting the back off it i really did it took a lot of brute force and ignorance to get it off there's the back, and as you can see, I can't get the back back on for love nor money. Anyway, looking at the inside there, it's got a Myota movement in it. So it's advertised as a Japanese movement, which it is, a Myota. Cute little, little uh, what do you call, movement on it. Very cute, I quite like that. Massive gate spacing bar in there, as you can see, to fill up the big old hole that's in there. And on the back, it's got all the details there. Nicely, nicely engraved. Super dry professional. The timepiece official. All stainless steel construction. It's a nice bag. It is a nice design case bag. There, it's got the model number there as well. SYG112U. So super dry professional. But I cannot get the back on. I have been trying, it arrived yesterday afternoon, and I've been trying off and on all yesterday, most of the last evening, and again this morning, and I can't get it on. It seems to be like too, it's far too tight. It was a devil to get off. It was incredibly tight to get off. I've tried the tea towel trick, put a tea towel down there, put another tea towel on top, Put a bit of plastic or a bit of wood on the top, they the same size as that. Get another plank of wood. Push down really hard so you get even pressure across the back. And it just, just does that. 
I've tried squeezing it on. I've tried warming it up a little bit. And when I say warming it up, I put a hairdryer on the back of it. And no, it just will, it just will not fit. And it's so annoying. I've got another battery coming for it because the one I've got isn't actually just the right one for it. It's supposed to be a 777, sorry, a 377 cell. I never had one. I had a slightly smaller one. But, I mean, it works fine. It works really well with that in there. But, um, so what I've had to do is I'm going to give up with this. I'm not going to bother to put the backpack on it or even try because it is so frustrating. I mean, even these little lugs here, I've filed those down just a little bit. Come on, camera, focus. Those little lugs there, just a little bit. I filed them down, trying to give me a little bit more clearance because it does look quite tight. But having said that, it was on there with that in there. So, I don't know. Anyway, I've got a press coming. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a press coming probably Monday or Tuesday next week. So I'm going to try with a press. If I can't get the back on with a press, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I've never had a watch that has been this difficult to put the case back, you know, back onto it. It's just ridiculous. It is so... It just... Whichever way you go on it... I've not got that lined up anyway. Just showing you for demonstration purposes. You catch it a little bit there. Normally you can push down on that bit and it'll it'll pop in but this one just does that every time so wherever side you press it just you know comes out like this it's very annoying so that's my mission now monday or tuesday next week i need a new watch press anyway because i broke mine so i've got a case back press coming if that doesn't do it i don't know what i'm going to do with it but looking at it it is a nice looking timepiece I couldn't tell you how accurate it is. I've not bothered with that. I've been too busy trying to mess around doing that. I mean, seeing it's quartz, I would guess it's probably plus two seconds a month or minus two seconds a month. You know, it's not going to be far out being a quartz, especially in my Ota quartz. So there it is. Uh, this could be my last review of the year, and it's a super dry field watch, if you will. The professional. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, so all in all, it's not a bad buy. The straps are quite nice, and there is two of them. So you've got a choice there which ones you want to wear. I'll have to really find out how to put these on properly, because I've never seen anything like it. They just seem to be so different to whatever I've been used to. But that's it, isn't it? Right, well, thanks again for watching. Take care. I'll hopefully see you in the new year. I might knock out one more before the uh, year's out. But uh, once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you around. Bye now.